boys so we're gonna do a little channel update today like I said I was gonna in the video from the show um, I got a lot of snowmobile stuff I want to cover but I figured I would show you guys the new truck first um, I have a little video from when I still had the Ram but had put a deposit down on this so I figure I'll throw that in now all right so here's the new truck uh, 2021 Trail Boss LT, so not the custom. Um, it's got the 20 inch wheels on it. Uh, probably doing a somewhat controversial thing going from a Ram to a Chevy. Um, but I'm gonna kinda go over in this video some things that went well with my truck. This is a good example of one of the issues I have. You, it's supposed to have an easy drop tailgate, but you have to push on it before it actually comes down, so. One of the many problems I've had since it was brand new, but um, I'll go over that stuff. The truck's been pretty good overall. Like it, nothing. There's nothing major that's wrong with it. You can also hear the exhaust leaking right now. Um, there's definitely some sort of gasket that's blown out on it, but you know, just a lot of little things. But also, I just think that the Trail Boss is absolutely awesome looking. Um, it actually makes my truck look small, which is crazy. Most of the time when my Ram is next to other trucks, it looks, you know, way bigger than them. It's got the off-road pack, which gives it a one-inch lift over most Rams. All right, yeah, so like I said in that video, there were a few things wrong with the Ram by the time I got rid of it. There was no, like, detrimental issue with it. Um, anything that, like, would make me afraid to drive it, but... It definitely didn't inspire the most confidence in me as far as owning it out of warranty. Um, like I said in that video, there was the exhaust, there was like that phantom shifting issue. Okay, so I realized I never actually described the transmission issue. Uh, it was super random when it would happen, but occasionally it would act like it was in tow haul mode. Um, it would like hold gears and it would rev a lot higher for no apparent reason. It was not in tow haul mode. Um, I have no idea what would cause it, and I did notice it would happen a little bit more often in the winter. Um, but other than that, I could never nail it down. It was difficult because it would do it and I would turn the truck off and then when I turned it back on, it wouldn't do it again. So um, it was almost impossible to get it diagnosed. But um, yeah, that was that was another issue. Another quick one I forgot to add was in town, for whatever reason, I would lose my FM signal. Um, I have absolutely no problem in any vehicle keeping a signal where I live. So the fact that it would do that didn't make any sense to me. It was, again, something that happened randomly, um, really hard to diagnose. It didn't do it all the time. And it seemed like whenever I felt like it was time to take it in to get it looked at, it would be fixed, so. There was the screen cutting in and out. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I think there was, but I, oh, the tailgate. Um, they were all such intermittent issues that I didn't think going to the dealer was gonna do a lot. Um, I think I could definitely get the tailgate fixed and the exhaust fixed, but that shift issue, if that became a bigger deal, that would suck, especially owning it out of warranty. And um, the screen thing, just it was annoying because every now and then my screen just wouldn't work or would turn off or whatever. Um, still a really great truck, and like I like I said, I would never like be afraid to own a Ram, but I definitely didn't want to own that one out of warranty. So um, I try not to be biased as far as snowmobiles go, but I think like vehicle-wise, I've always been drawn a little bit to. Um, Chevy products. I had two Camaros and when I got the Ram, I really wanted a Trail Boss, but uh, I couldn't swing it back then. So um, now that I was able to, it was really cool to try one out. This is definitely a bit like truckier of a truck. It drives a little bit more stiffly. It's got the solid rear axle, so I'm sure that has to do with it. This isn't a short bed, it's a standard bed, so it's a little bit longer of a truck as well. Um, and this one was ordered with the 20s on it rather than the 18s, which might make it ride a little stiffer too. Interior wise, the Ram was a little bit better, um, but I don't. I wouldn't say this is awful, especially once you live with it. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much, but the Ram, I, I think definitely with the way that the dashboard is shaped and everything, um, I think the Ram is a little bit more inviting of a space as far as driving goes. Uh, but gas mileage with this as far as like daily driving has been pretty significantly better in my ram i was usually around 16 at the best this in town is like 18 19 and then on the highway i've been able to get this up to 21 miles per gallon which 
my Ram never could do in its life. So that's been a nice little change up. I do assume that towing is gonna be worse. This is rated to tow a little bit less. Um, and obviously our trailer is pretty big, so we'll see how that goes. But you know, for this having the two inch lift being a trail boss and having the more aggressive tires, the fact that it's actually better on the highway um, and for most of my day to day driving is nice. Um, and I really love the looks of it. I know they're not for everybody, but I've grown to really like them. Um, nothing against the Ram, but it's I think in 2019 when that, car that truck came out, it looked great and was like the perfect step forward from what the Ram was. But I would say now it, maybe a little refresh would be good. You know, change the headlights up, maybe reshape the grill a little bit, just bring it a little bit more forward. Um, whereas this, I think, was almost too far ahead in 2019. It was almost like jarring to go from the last generation Silverado to this one. Um, but now that a little time has gone on and kind of all the trucks are starting to get a little bit more aggressive and angular, I think this really fits in nicely. So um, from a looks perspective, I like it, you know, as well. The goal of today's video was to cover three topics. First of all, the truck. Uh, second of all, I'm going to cover the whole snowmobile sessions thing. I feel like you guys deserve to hear my perspective on all that. And then I'm also going to talk about my new sled that's supposed to be coming in, but got pushed back. So uh, here we go with all that. Okay, so like I said, uh, first things first, I'm probably going to be riding this sled for the first couple videos next season. My new sled was supposed to come in in October, but it got delayed to um, December, as I'm hearing right now. I'm hearing the end of December, and I'm hearing I'm the last December delivery for what they're expecting. So um, definitely throws a little bit of a wrench into my plans, but... I only rode this sled for one season, so I'm still excited to ride it. I mean, I, I loved it. It was a really great sled. So it'll be cool to get a little bit more seat time on it if that plays out the way it does. Um, Bibbins was telling me that the sled could come in a little earlier than that. We'll have to see if it does. Um, but as of right now, bummed content-wise, I'm not gonna have the sled. But um, like I said, I've only had this for a year. I'm still excited to ride it. On that note, I'm gonna do my best to make some content in the meantime, but obviously not having a new sled to work on, parts to put on it, that sort of thing. It's gonna be a little bit tougher, but there's still some things I wanna talk about. I have a few topics to bring up with you guys, some stuff to do to this sled. So um, we'll do our best to you know, come up with something, but um, obviously not gonna be the typical off season. The biggest reason I held onto this sled was in case this happened. When this happened in 2019, I had no option. Like I had sold my sled that time in August and uh, I had nothing to ride and I didn't come in until January. So I didn't want that to happen again. So I planned ahead, I obviously still have this sled and depending on when it comes in, I might hang onto this sled for a couple videos, you know, to be able to compare it to the new sled. Um, but we'll just have to see how things play out, the market, you know, how sleds are selling, that type of thing. So, all right, so the big elephant in the room, for those of you that did watch the podcast, obviously I'm not on it this season. I wanted to touch base on it with you guys. Gary texted me and told me he wants to go with two hosts and he didn't want to stream to two channels anymore. Like I told him, I totally get the two channel thing. Uh, I was surprised he wanted to do it when he did do it with me last year, but um, you know, I, that, that's his prerogative. I want to emphasize it's his podcast. He started it. Um, so I always give him all the credit for it and uh, always tried to, you know, even things out as best I could behind the scenes, but it's tough, you know, two separate channels, two separate monetizations, two separate sets of super chats. You know, it's not always an easy thing to try to split that as, e as evenly as you can. I've always thought Rich and Gary have incredible chemistry. Uh, the two of them go back and forth really well, and I think that they're going to do a great job on the podcast, and uh, I definitely wish them the best of luck with it. I really enjoyed being a part of it last season, um, and I know we talked about there being a season two and me being on it, so I definitely wanted to let you guys know like why I'm not on it, why there's no podcast. Um, and you know, it could be something I do again down the road. Uh, I would want it to be a little bit more in my wheelhouse, a little bit more like technical, a little bit more into the sled aspect and, um, just cover more sled stuff that I can't always talk about in all my videos. Definitely still really excited for the season. I can't wait for it to get going. Um, it's crazy. It's already almost the end of October right now, but, uh, once the new sleds in, we'll get out there riding and hopefully it's a nice early winter, you know, unlike last year when we got out there early in the season, the, the conditions were a bit dicey. So. Um, if there are things you guys want me to cover too, let me know down below. I have, like I said, I have a few video ideas I'm definitely going to go over, um, but I'm always looking for more things to talk about, especially if it's things you guys are interested in. So um, definitely let me know, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, Brad Gang.